we started doing this record, it, it wasn't so much that um, I was trying to make a technically perfect record. I just wanted to do what I wanted to do in my heart because I've been playing music for a long time. I started off playing for myself, started to get successful, started to think, you know what, I'll, I'll do what they're saying to be successful. Got fired. Went back to doing what I want and, and it's working again because the guys in the group with me right now, we, we are really sincere with one another about the music that we like. That's why this record is much fun for us to listen to and play. If it was one of those things before where we were struggling to get our music onto MTV or on radio or you know, gain mass commercial appeal and stuff like that, you're guessing what the public likes. And, and if you do that, at some point you're going to hit most of the time you're going to miss. And the pure slavery is to keep the people poor. I was excited to re-record to Le Mans. I uh, was particularly excited when I heard Christina's parts because um, she's so talented. Uh, you know, we had some other people try and sing on it and it just didn't work. It was pretty cruddy, actually. And um, we even had Lisa Marie Presley scheduled to come and do this. And in the end, it just worked out that Christina was the right fit for my voice. And it wasn't supposed to be a single either. It was supposed to be a B-side on a Japanese record. So the record company heard it, liked it, wanted it to be a single. I, I wanted to have a heavy song for the first single. You know, just kind of say, look, I'm back. You know, this kind of thing, instead of coming out with something that a lot of people are going to go, Either way, it's a great song, and, and I'm glad that you know, it, it's, it's on the record. In the neck of a guitar, well, it's got to feel right, because if not, it usually will end up broken. <laughs> um, when you start playing a guitar, and, um, it, it should be something that's smooth and, and fits the scallop of your hand right here. Part of the guitar is, is how it feels in your hand, if it feels like it's, uh, if it's a tool, or if you feel like a tool holding it, <laughs> you know? And uh, there's been some guitars that I've picked up off the shelf uh, with different brands, and they just, they just basically feel like a, a piece of wood with strings on the front of it. There's no sex appeal to the instrument, there's no ruggedness to it. One thing that I noticed right away that was different between the, the Dunes and some of the other guitars that, that I've played is the wood on the top of them. It's really exotic. And in, in Metal Marketplace, most guitars are black. And that's why I stuck to three colors my whole career, black, silver, and white. And um, very rarely would I have a wood top on it because, you know, it, it either looks like you're playing a, a coffee table or, or you know, it, it looks like some really bad Volkswagen paneling. There's this one, uh, the amber top one, and then there's the Gears of War guitar. And the rest are just in construction. So far the guitars that I've gotten here, every one that I've picked up has just been, it's solid feeling. It's, it's exciting for me to go out and play now because I can hear when I'm playing better now. And I don't know if it's just the configuration of, of uh, the, the wood assembly or if it's the glue that Dean has. <laughs> but um, you know something just is different about the guitar where it just sounds cleaner. And I'm using the same exact, exact amp configuration that I used with my previous guitars. And I've never played a guitar that's made my solo sound cleaner. <laughs> 